Please help me welcome Aziz Ansari. Hello. Um, so uh, I just moved out to L.A. from New York, and uh, I like it here. It's all right. Um, I was walking around recently, and uh, this guy came up to me with a clipboard, and he goes, uh, hey, man, do you have a moment for gay rights? And I went, uh, sorry, man, I'm in a rush. And then that guy watched me walk into a Jamba Juice. <laughs> and um, he was a little upset. He was like, really, man? You don't have a moment for gay rights, you're in a rush to go to Jamba Juice and get a fruit smoothie? I'm out here trying to make a difference. And I went, well, actually, man, there's a guy that works in that Jamba Juice that said some really hateful stuff to a close gay friend of mine, and I'm going in there to stab him. <laughs> and then I pulled out two knives and I tossed him one. I said, do you have a moment for gay rights? <laughs> oh, didn't think so. So you can sit there with your little clipboard and judge me I kill for gay people. I make a difference. You don't do shit. I had a, a gay friend of mine get real mad at me recently because of a text message that I sent him. And I looked on my phone, I realized it wasn't my fault. It was my phone's fault. Because I have a thing on there called Smart Type, where there's two letters for every key. And when you type stuff, it guesses what you're typing, and sometimes it gets it wrong. Like, you'll be typing in gave, and it'll guess have, and your text can be misinterpreted. And that's what happened to me. What I was trying to send my friend Greg was a text that said, Hey, Greg, don't think I can come to the bar. Tired. Gonna hit the hey. That's what I was trying to send him. Here's what smart types send him. Hey, Greg, sorry, don't think I can come to the bar. Tired, gonna hit the hay, you faggot, fuck you. <laughs> whoa, 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 smart guy, that ain't what I was trying to say. Why you getting all homophobic on me? <laughs> um, I did a show in uh, Telluride, Colorado recently. And uh, that's like a ski town, and uh, you know, there's not a lot of minorities there. And I was there getting my uh, ski pass, and uh, the whole time, I'm talking to this guy. He's looking at me weird. Uh, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to keep him Friday, Sunday. He's like, all right, all right. And right when I'm about to leave, he goes, hey, man, before you go, i got to ask you something. Where are you from? And I went, uh, well, uh, you know, my parents are from India, but uh, I was born in South Carolina, and uh, I grew up there. And he went, what? But you talk just like I do. And I went, well, you know, here's the thing, man. Uh, a lot of people come here from other countries, and, you know, they have sex here, they have children here, and they grow up in the society, and sometimes they don't have accents. It happens quite a bit. And uh, then I showed him a video of an Asian kid rapping, and his head exploded. <laughs> um... I like living in L.A. The one thing I don't like about living here is I don't like driving because uh, I get bored when I'm driving. And uh, when I get bored when I'm driving, uh, I go on the Internet on my phone. And uh, so I'm going to die um, <laughs> in a car accident. And, uh, you know, they're going to be able to look through the wreckage and pick up my phone and see what I was looking at before I died. You know, and it's going to be really sad. It's going to be like a comedian Aziz Ansari was killed in a car accident today. He was struck by another vehicle while using IMDB to see if Val Kilmer was indeed in the film Willow. <laughs> Representatives from Mr. Kilmer confirmed he was indeed in the film and hopes this will prevent future tragedies of this nature. <laughs> this is the fourth Willow-related death this year. <laughs> Comedian Aziz Ansari was killed in a car accident today. He was struck by another vehicle while checking showtimes for atonement on Fandango. He just purchased a single ticket for a 4 o'clock show at a $2 theater in order to live out the saddest afternoon of all time. <laughs> comedy bad boy Aziz Ansari, <laughs> a.k.a. comedy heartthrob Aziz Ansari, was killed in an awful automobile accident today. He was struck by another vehicle while Googling the phrase Aziz Ansari in quotes. <laughs> Um, 
I went to a place recently, man, that uh, really messed me up. I'm convinced this place is the epitome of American excess, of American greed. I'm talking about a place called Cold Stone Creamery. <laughs> if you haven't been there, the basic gist of Cold Stone is that they take ice cream and then they molest it with candy bars, brownies, anything sweet they can get their fucking molester hands on and beat the fuck into the ice cream, they will do it. And it's so disturbing. I went in there, I was like, look, I was gonna take it easy. I just want a small cup of vanilla. And the lady behind the counter is like, no, no, no. Why don't you try one of our creations, like birthday cake remix, where we take cake batter ice cream, some sprinkles, and some fudge. I was like, mm, you know, that sounds like too much for me. I, I think I just have this small cup of vanilla. She goes, quit being a bitch. <laughs> Whoa, Cold Stone. And then I realized I couldn't even get a small, because their sizes aren't small, medium, and large. They're like it, love it, and gotta have it. What kind of crackhead terminology is that? Oh, hey, man, uh, what size ice cream on? I don't know, man, I just gotta have it. Put some ice cream in a cup, I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking. <laughs> but I felt bad for people that had to work here, man. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be a nice guy. I'm just gonna put a dollar in the tip jar. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's when all hell breaks loose. Cause when you drop a dollar in the tip jar, all five Cold Stone employees are required to bust out into a song and dance number where they take current popular music and insert Cold Stone lingo into it as if they're some retarded second cousin of Weird Al. And it's terrible, I couldn't believe this, man. Five people singing and dancing for a dollar. That's 20 cents a person. If you saw some homeless dude outside of Cold Stone, like, hey man, I'll give you 20 cents to sing some songs about Cold Stone. He'd go, hey man, go fuck yourself. That's degrading. All right, guys, thank you very much. <laughs>